Recently, the chief exorcist at the Vatican reported that the devil was in the Vatican. Morgan. Well, Reverend Gabriele Amorth made headlines around the world recently when he said the devil was present in the Vatican. You're talking about something very real, aren't you? Certo, realissimo. Dico se credete al Vangelo, credete all'esistenza del demonio. Absolutely, very real. As to the devil's presence in the Vatican, he says that's no surprise. He once had to perform an exorcism on another exorcist. The first thing we need to do if we're going to find out if the devil is at the Vatican is take a tour underneath the Vatican. As we arrive underneath the Vatican, we see that it is laid out in a number of rooms marked by letters, as we can see in this aerial view map. Now we will be exploring some of the rooms in this map. Let's start off by looking in room C here. As we look in the room, we see that this is a mausoleum of a Lucius Tullius Zethus. The Vatican goes on and explains that this room was used for offerings to the dead. We read, View of the north wall and mosaic floor. In the corners of the mosaic floor there are eight marble squares with circular holes through which offerings to the dead were poured during the funeral rites carried out in the burial chamber. So here we have a room where offerings are done to the dead. That's pretty common in Catholicism. Now if we look in the next room, room E, so here in this room they have a vase which has the image of a Medusa. So here underneath the Vatican we have a Medusa. Again we ask ourselves the question, this is a vase, but yet it's kept underneath the Vatican. This could have easily been removed. If the Vatican was a holy church, you would think that they would have done this. You think underneath the Vatican they would have things that are sacred to Christ and not foreign gods, not idols and images of foreign gods. Now as we move down further to room H, here we see that this is the mausoleum that is one of the largest and most luxurious mausoleums underneath the Vatican of St. Peter's Basilica. It says that it was built at the beginning of the second half of the second century during the reign of Emperor Marcus Aurelius and belonging to a freedman of the important Valeri family. And as we're in this mausoleum, we see that there's lots of idols from the old Roman Empire. We ask ourselves, why does Rome keep these idols down underneath St. Peter's Basilica? You would think if they were Christians, they would want to clean all this out. I can't imagine anybody who has a true church would keep idols in their churches, especially pagan idols left over from a bygone pagan era. But here we have the Vatican keeping many pagan idols underneath St. Peter's Basilica. Here is an idol the Vatican is displaying of a head of a child in gilded stucco and a lock of a hair typical of one initiated into the cult of Isis. And this particular idol is an idol of a boy who was initiated into the cult of Isis. If we look in this room, we see that some of the stucco decorating the walls. Here we have a personification of Oceanus. We remember the New Testament book of Revelation says that a beast comes out of the ocean. So we say, why is the Vatican having these foreign gods underneath its basilica? Why is it protecting them? If it was a true church, it couldn't be doing it for the sake of art, especially with all the evil things that are happening in the Vatican. And as the priest earlier said that evil does exist, the devil is real, as he admitted. But the hypocrisy of all of this is that they have all these evil images and idols underneath the Vatican of St. Peter's Basilica. We also see two figures of genuses with bat wings also portrayed on the walls. Again, this is supposed to be a holy church and a holy place. Now this is supposedly all there for many, many years. 
As we move into the next room, room I, the details of the mosaic floor with Mercury and Pluto's chariot, they go on and explain that this theme is an explicit reference to the overcoming of death and the return of the afterlife. They describe it as a splendid mosaic floor of Mercury is depicted carrying a caduceus with wings at his ankles, walking in front, and a chariot carrying Pluto and his wife Persephone. So here we have all these Roman gods underneath the Vatican, images of foreign gods. Well, as we move to the next room, we find out why they keep all these idols down there in these images. As we move to room U, here we find the shock of all shocks. Here on the wall, it says there is a depiction of Lucifer, that is, the light bearer, the morning star. On the opposite of the wall, there is a drawing of Vesper, the evening star, the cosmic symbol of the human life cycle. We find out that when we get to room U, here we have a clear depiction of Lucifer underneath the Vatican at St. Peter's Basilica. We ask ourselves, why are they keeping this image of Lucifer underneath the Vatican? Again, you would think if you're a Christian church, you would not want to have any of these images. Now we know that they'll go on and say, oh, well, we're saving it because it's a UNESCO heritage site or something like that. This is always their excuse, saving it for the sake of art. But for the true Christian, this is not an excuse because we know if you're giving glory and propaganda to false deities and false pagan gods, what are you doing? You're in essence supporting the evil spiritual realm. This cannot be from God. And since Rome claims itself to be the one true church, you would think they would lead by example. But what kind of example is this? That you have a depiction of Lucifer underneath the Vatican for countless hundreds and hundreds of years? Now this image here underneath the Vatican has been there since their claim, which would be Constantine. We would know that he was the first one that built this uh, basilica. And so again we ask ourselves, why are they keeping this depiction of Lucifer underneath the Vatican? Well, we think the answer for why all these images, idols, are kept underneath the Vatican is because what we're dealing with here is we're dealing with an apostate church that has always been apostate. And even now, as it is filled with Freemasons, and so we know that the reason why they're keeping all this there now, and they're actually revealing this on their internet website, is because they want people to see this. They want people to see what they're really all about. For the masses who believe that Rome is still a pure church, they don't mind deceiving them into believing that they are still a Christian church. As you go down underneath the Vatican, down into the next rooms, they will try to convince you on this tour that you take that Peter is buried down there in one of the rooms and that this gives credence to following the Pope. But we ask the question, why would you want to follow a Pope who has all these evil things underneath his church? It's very clear by this depiction of Lucifer that the devil is in the Vatican. He's hidden way down underneath the Vatican at St. Peter's Basilica. Now if you are a Catholic and you are watching this video, we want to encourage you to come out of that church. As you can see from these images and these idols that are kept underneath your church. We would hope that you would soberly think about these things and ask yourself the question, if my church is a true church, why is it promoting these things? Why does it even want people to see these things? We would hope that you would hear the exhortation of Revelation 18 verse 4 where it says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you may not participate in her sins and that you may not receive of her plagues. For her sins have piled up as high as heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities." And we can also imagine what kind of things are done down there underneath the Vatican in secret when people aren't looking. And we want to say 
in closing this video that God's judgment does sleep and sometimes it sleeps for a long time but when his judgment awakes hopefully it will not be too late for you and our prayer for you is that you would find a refuge in faith in Jesus Christ and that you would follow him and not the false religion of Rome. Suddenly you're out of time.